house welcome to tuning into God's channel tonight we're coming to the Lord's table in communion and I hope you are prepared for the miraculous because I am prepared in 2nd King chapter 6 verse 1 to 6 we found the sons of the prophet came to Elisha and they said to him sir this place we are is too small let us go into the Jordan River there are plenty of logs there, then we can build a spacious place where there's no room for us. And Elisha said to them, go. In verse 3, one of them came back and said, sir, we need for you to go with us. Elisha agreed. He said, I will meet you. And they went. And The Bible recorded that while they were cutting the logs, somebody's ass head fell into the waters. And he cried out. Can you say cried out tonight? He cried out. He said, alas, it was borrowed. And Elisha asked him, where exactly did he fall? And he said, here, yeah, this, this is a place. The Bible said they cut a piece of wood and 
put it in that same place, and the hart's head swim to the surface. Can, can I wet your imagination tonight? Can I ask you to just imagine an hart's head swimming like a fish? That, that speaks about the supernatural. That speaks about what we call impossible. Tonight, the hart's head that is borrowed is swimming back in your hands in the name of Jesus. And Elijah said, take it back. Tell somebody, take it back. We're going to take back many things that has been borrowed, many things that we want to keep, many things that we need for the future that is no longer in our hands tonight in the name of Jesus. Tell somebody, take it back. Hallelujah. I want us to pray tonight. The first prayer point in my heart is that we speak to the Lord and say, Lord, speak to my heart. God of heaven, speak to my heart. Speak to my heart. Speak to my heart. You know, every time I read the Bible, I, I, I see the Lord spoke to Moses. The Lord spoke to Abraham. The Lord spoke to Jacob. The Lord spoke to Joseph. God of the universe, speak to my heart tonight. My heart thirsts for a word. A word of relief in this season. A word of assurance. A word of healing. A word to my future. God of heaven, I have come tonight to your table. And I ask that you speak a word of relief to my heart in the name of Jesus. Speak a word of purpose. Speak a joyful one to my heart. Speak a word of restoration. Speak a word of healing. Speak to my heart. The Lord spoke to Moses. God of the universe, speak to me. Speak to me tonight. Speak concerning my children. Speak concerning my marriage. Speak concerning my career. Speak concerning my business. Speak concerning my future. I desire a word from your heart to my heart. Give me a vision tonight. Give me an idea tonight. Say something about my future tonight in the name of Jesus. We say that intolerance of the present creates the future. God, I am not satisfied with the way things are. I need a word from your heart to my heart. I need you to keep me focused on something bigger than me. That is your idea about my future. Give me an assurance of a greater future tonight. Give me a word, God of heaven. Speak to my heart. That's your call tonight. Speak to my heart in the name of Jesus. Second Kings chapter 6 from verse 1 and 2. NLT version says, One day the group of prophets came to Elisha. And they told him, As you can see, this place where we meet with you is too small. Verse 2 says, Let us go down to the Jordan River where there are plenty of logs. There we can build a new place for us to meet. All right, he said to them, go ahead. I don't know what is straight in your life right now. You know, sometimes your income is good until the Lord begins to prosper and promote you. Yeah, as a single man, you're earning 300,000, 350, you're a big boy. You can do anything you want. But God has promoted you. You are married now. You have a kid or two. School fees are coming. It becomes very straight. You're having to calculate again and again before you can allocate the resources. It's not sufficient. I don't know what is no longer sufficient. I don't know what used to be good and be enough that is no longer sufficient in your life. Tonight is the time to speak to God about it. Lord God of heaven, this place is straight. Take God those straight areas of your life. This place is too straight. They said to the prophet, this place can no longer contain our future. It used to be big enough. It used to be bigger than anything we can imagine. But right now, it's too straight. It's too small. It's no longer sufficient. We need an increase. We need an expansion. The Bible says, I will increase you more and more. You and your children. God of heaven tonight, I have come to your table. I ask for an increase. Give me wisdom. Open my eyes to see something. Bigger than anything that I've ever seen. This place is straight. The resources in my hand is not sufficient for the needs in my life. What comes regularly can no longer meet the needs. So I'm asking you, God of the universe, for wisdom. I'm asking you for open heaven. I'm asking for your help. I'm asking God, open my eyes to see the rivers of Jordan where there are plenty of logs so that I can make possible an expansion in the name of Jesus. Give me an idea. Give me an opportunity for increase in the name of Jesus. I'm willing to work. Just open my eyes to the next stage of life. Psalm 18 verse 19. I want to read from NIV. He brought me out into a spacious place. God is bringing you out tonight. Hallelujah. Tell somebody he's bringing me out tonight. 
He's bringing me out tonight. He's bringing you out into a spacious place where you can meet all the needs and even save a little. Where you can pay school fees and pay rent and, and maintain the car and send money to your parents and do a bit of charity and put some in investment. You're not just feeding and waiting for the next one and saying not enough. You are going beyond not enough tonight. You are pressing beyond not enough tonight. God is bringing you to a special place. God of heaven, bring me in your mercy, in your grace, in your love to a special place. He brought me into a special place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Rescue me tonight because of your love, because of your goodness. That's your prayer point. He brought me out into a spacious place. God is bringing you out tonight. God is bringing out your marriage from those places where things are straight. You know, when you live in face me, I face you. Things are straight. There are certain issues in your marriage you cannot resolve in a face me, I face you. God is making room for you tonight. God is making room for your children tonight. God is making room for your career tonight. God is making room for your business tonight. God is making room for your life or your purpose tonight. God is making room for your ministry tonight. In the name of Jesus, bring me out into a spacious place. That's your heart cry tonight. Secondly, I want us to pray tonight. Give me the gift of your presence in 2020. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 3, NLT, it says, please come with us. When they said to him, this place is too straight, it's too straight, we're going to go to the Jordan River and get more logs. They saw, they entreated the prophet. He said, come with us. And he agreed. He said, I will. I will, he said. Now, Psalm 143 verse 8 says, let me hear of your unfailing love in the morning. For I'm trusting you. Show me where to walk. For I have come to you in prayer. Hallelujah. Exodus 13, 21 to 22 says, the Lord guided them by a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. That way they could travel whether it was day or night. God of heaven, give me the gift of your presence this year. Abide with me. Go before me. Pack me up. I cannot do it by myself. Things are looking so confusing. My plans are not working the way I anticipated. Things are different all over the world. It looks like the worst of famine is happening right now. But God of heaven, even in the midst of famine, you prosper Isaac. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are my God. I call to you tonight from the depth of my heart. I call to you tonight, God of heaven. You are held or here. You are the God who sees my circumstances. You know where I am right now. You know what I'm going through. You know what I'm battling with. God of heaven, show up with me. Come, give me the gift of your presence. Give me the gift of your presence, Lord. Give me the gift of your presence. In the name of Jesus. In my business, give me the gift of your presence. In my parenting, give me the gift of your presence. In my marriage, give me the gift of your presence. In my academics, give me the gift of your presence. Go with me, lead and guide me in every realm of my life. In the name of Jesus. I entrust my whole life into your able hands. Almighty God, there is nothing you cannot do. You spoke to Abraham. You spoke to Isaac. You spoke to Jacob. Speak to me tonight and give me the benefit of your presence. Garnish my life with your abiding presence in the name of Jesus. Psalm 143 verse 8 I'll read for NLT. It says, let me hear of your unfailing love in the morning for I'm trusting you. Show me where to walk for I have come to you in prayer. We have come to you in prayer God of heaven. Tonight the entire Pentecost house and everyone watching online and listening online, we have come unto you. You are the God of the universe. There is nothing you cannot do. El Rohi, the God who sees. You know where we are. The over 8 billion people all over the world, you can identify and locate each of us. We come to you tonight, God of heaven. Give me the beauty of your presence. Guide me by the pillar of cloud during the day. Guide me by the pillar of light during the night. Day and night, give me the beauty of your presence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Second King chapter 6 verse 3. It says, please come with us. Someone suggested. I will, he said, in verse 4. When they arrived at the Jordan, they began cutting down trees. But as one of them was chopping, his ass head 
fell into the river. It was a legitimate assignment. It was a desire to grow their enterprise. It was a desire, a God-given desire to expound the ministry. He wasn't going out playing. He had gone to borrow this house head so that he can fulfill his duty to God. The Bible did not talk about any sin this guy has committed. But in that legitimate act of serving God, the ass head fell. I don't know what has fallen from your hand. In the course of the year, from January to May, I don't know what you have lost. Some people have lost a lot of money in their business. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what you are losing right now. Some of us are losing time. Some of us are losing an opportunity that has, been, that has not showed up in 20 years. One of a lifetime opportunity, and it looks like if nothing happens drastically, that opportunity will be lost. That's a has head. The has head fell, and it was borrowed. Maybe it is even money that was borrowed for business. Ah, my Lord, he cried. It was a borrowed house. That's what I want us to do tonight. I want us to call out to God for help. You know, some things are lost in our life. We have no way of finding it. When certain things are lost in our life, only God can bring back those things that are lost. The reasonable things to do tonight is to cry to the God of the universe. His name is Jehovah Jireh. His name is El Rohi. I say, Lord, his name is Jehovah Rapha. If something in your head is lost, only God can fix it. If something in your finances is lost, only God can fix it. If something in your, in your business is lost, only God can bring back those things that are lost. You're going to cry out to, out to the Lord tonight. I say, Lord, alas, it was borrowed. Cry to him tonight. From the depth of your heart, cry to him tonight. I don't know what it is, but God knows what it is. He knows exactly where it fell. He's going to bring it back in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me back every lost opportunity this year. Give me back everything that is lost. Give me back everything that I borrowed, that is now missing. I don't know what to say, but you are the God of the universe. You can do it. Give me back the opportunity to renew my body, renew my head. In the name of Jesus, restore me tonight. Give me back every lost opportunity. Restore my cutting edge spiritually. Restore it psychologically. Give me grace. The guy's cutting edge was lost. His passion, his momentum, his purpose was lost. Everything that had been borrowed to be able to actualize the purpose of God in his life. Or in a jiffy fell into the water. I don't know what is that thing by accident that has fallen into the waters of life in your life. Tonight is your night of restoration. The Bible says there is no restoration because Israel did not shout restoration. Brethren, we're going to shout tonight, restore my losses, God of heaven. You're going to name as many things as have been lost in your life. You're going to call them forth in the power of the Spirit. And you're going to shout to restoration. You're going to shout to restoration. Lord, give me back every lost opportunity. Restore my cutting edge spiritually. Restore the grace and the glory of my life. Restore the beauty and the relevance in the name of Jesus. Restore me tonight. Restore me. Take it back tonight. The prophet said, pick it up. Take it back. That includes action. You're going to spiritually reach out tonight. And say, God of heaven, as you empower me, as you restore the glory of my life, I take them back tonight in the name of Jesus. Every lost ground I take back tonight in my head. I take back tonight my flavor. I take back tonight my purpose. I take back tonight my passion. I take back tonight my strength. I take back tonight my freedom. I take back tonight my joy. I take back tonight my momentum. I take back tonight my life. I take back tonight. In the name of Jesus. Cry out tonight. The prophet realized it was beyond his ability to restore what he had lost. His only hope was in the power of God to supernaturally give him the ass head and relieve him of a debt he could not repay. Huh. I don't know what is that debt that you owe tonight that you cannot repay. Just one thing happened. In the bid for progress and expansion, that wish was borrowed fell off. And you suddenly go from being whole to being indebted. You're going to have to cry out tonight. You're going to have to cry out tonight. Lord, I need your help tonight. I need your presence tonight. I need you to go beyond the reach of my own strength. I need you to perform your miracle and cause the heart's head to swim so that it can come within the reach of my hand. I stretch my hand in faith, receiving back every lost ground 
in the name of Jesus. I want to give God praise tonight. I want to give you gratitude because I know it is done tonight. Thank the Lord for that ground that you are recovering tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank him tonight. Thank him tonight. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Celebrate his faithfulness. Pray for your children tonight that the glory of God will help them recover every ground they have missed. Ask for grace, a restraining grace to come upon your children. As we come to the table of the Lord tonight, God of heaven, put a restraining grace upon my children. Let them not sin against you. If anything is missing right now, God of heaven, and they don't know how to find it, let your presence warehouse all of those things that they have lost and restore to them by your power, by your mighty hand, by your outstretched arm, in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, God's word says, Don't be afraid, because I am with you. Ah, if I were you, I would thank God tonight for being with me. He says, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Lord, I thank you for your presence tonight. I, I know that you are with me. I am no longer afraid. I'm no longer afraid. I'm not afraid of the ass head that has fallen, because restoration is coming to me tonight. I'm not afraid of my head situation, because your name is Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord that is my healer. I'm not afraid of resources and provision because you are Jehovah Jireh. I know that you will provide. I'm not afraid of the difficult circumstances of life because you are the God who sees your hero. He, the God who sees me. I give you praise tonight. I bring you honor tonight. I worship your holy name tonight. I thank you for the gift of my children tonight. I thank you for my career tonight. I thank you for my business tonight. I speak on that foot yield to 2020 in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the praise. Don't be afraid because I am with you. Don't be intimidated. Ha. Don't be intimidated because I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Help is coming tonight. Thank you, God of heaven, because you are coming for me. Help is coming tonight. He says, I will support you with my victorious right hand. I celebrate your support tonight. I celebrate your faithfulness, your goodness. I receive all of your help to every realm of my being. In the name of Jesus, I bless your holy name. I want us to praise the name of the Lord tonight, church. I want us to appreciate him for his goodness, for his presence, for his word, spoken word. God of heaven, I thank you because you will speak a word to my heart. God sent a word into Jacob, and that word has lighted the whole of Israel. God of heaven, send a word of empowerment into my life. Send a word of blessing over my life. Put your word of protection over my household. I will test for your word tonight. I receive the spoken word tonight. I receive your guidance. I receive direction. I receive divine instruction from your heart. Like you've spoken to people of old, God of heaven. I ask that you speak to my heart. Speak a word over my life. Speak concerning my circumstances. Speak, speak concerning my career. Speak concerning my ministry. Give me a word that will lead me, that will connect the dots until I come to a glorious future that only you can make in the name of Jesus. I receive that sure word tonight. In the name of Jesus. Beyond your word, God of heaven, I ask for your abiding presence. Let your presence go with me. Moses said, we will not go unless you go with us. And Lord, you went with Israel. You were a pillar of cloud during the day. You were a pillar of fire during the night. God of heaven, go before me and back me up in all my endeavors. Protect me at this time, at this desperate time when the whole world does not know where to turn. Let me know that you are my leader. Lead me in every realm of life. Make stable my heart upon your word. Let your word guarantee your presence in my life, in my finances, in my career, in every realm of my life, in the name of Jesus. Give me sure word, a direction. Let your abiding presence be the benefit, the cutting edge upon my life, the edge, the sure edge over my life and household in the name of Jesus. Let me be able to lift up my head and say, the Lord has spoken to me. Let that word guarantee victory in every realm of my life, in the name of Jesus. I cry to you tonight concerning the ass head. There are specific ass head that could have fallen in our lives. I don't know what has fallen in your life. I don't know what you have borrowed, that you have what you want to use, but right now you don't have it. You know where it fell. You know what happened. 
Tell it to the Lord tonight so that you can recover. Because with God, we can always recover. God of heaven, I want to recover tonight. Because your presence is here. I'm asking you to guarantee and orchestrate my recovery. Total, absolute recovery and victory is what I'm asking you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like us to look at the passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 to 25. I'll read from NIV. It says, For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. 24 says, And when he had given text, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is broken for you. And he says, do this in remembrance of me. Verse 25 says, in the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. The Lord took the bread. He gave thanks. God of heaven will ask that your essence will come into this piece of bread. As it symbolizes the body of Jesus Christ. That was broken for me on Calvary. His body was broken so that my body will not be broken. His body was broken so that my dream, my vision will not be broken. His body was broken so that my life will not be broken. My marriage will not be broken. My ministry will not be broken. My children will not be violated. My future will not be broken. God of heaven, I have in my hand tonight the broken body of your son, which was symbolic of the punishment he took on my behalf. Because his body was broken, my body cannot be broken. As I partake of the broken body of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight, mend everything in me that is broken in the name of Jesus. As you partake of the broken body of the Lord tonight, everything in you that it too has been broken is being mended in the name of Jesus. Call on to him. The Bible calls him Jehovah Rapha, the Lord my healer, the Lord, my healer. The Bible says, by his stripes, you have been healed. Because he was beaten, his body was broken, then your body cannot be broken. Because two people cannot pay the price, the punishment of the same offense. Jesus Christ served the punishment of your sin on Calvary so that the enemy cannot lay hold on you. Tonight, as you partake of the broken body of the Lord, receive strength, receive healing in your emotions, in your spirit, in your physical body. In the name of Jesus. He gives thanks. Lord, I thank you because your incense comes into this emblem. And as I partake, I receive healing. I receive wholeness. I receive divine empowerment. In the name of Jesus. I receive sure protection by the blood of the Lamb. I come on the pedestal of the blood of Jesus tonight. To the place of victory in every realm of my life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the same way. He took the cup. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. When we partake of the blood of Jesus tonight, we receive of the life of God into our lives. God of heaven, I appreciate you that you allowed your son to come and die for my sin. I receive the benefit, the total benefit of the death of Jesus on Calvary. I partake of his blood tonight. I partake of the fullness of the life of God in every realm of me. I receive newness. I receive strength. I receive the fullness of life. My blood will not be spilled, not by coronavirus. I have victory over every ailment tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 52 verse 9, NIV says, And I will hope in your name. For your name is good. I'd like us to hope in the name of the Lord tonight. Thank the Lord for his broken body tonight. His body was broken so that your body will not be broken. As you partake of the broken body tonight, you receive immunity to every harm. Your body will not be violated. Your children will not be violated. Because his body was beaten. And the Bible says by his stripes you are being healed. Because of the stripes that Jesus has taken on your behalf, you are immune from all the ailments. And the disease in the world. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus tonight. We receive the life of God. We receive the fullness of the life of God. The blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary renews our lives on earth and protects us from harm in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, God of heaven. Blessed be your holy name. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord, my healer. I ask that your mighty hand of healing come upon every sickness in my body tonight. I ask for restoration. I shout restoration in the name of Jesus. You are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, my provider. I ask contrary to what everybody is experiencing in the nations of the earth. I ask that you bring me to yet a new season of provision like I've never experienced before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, I'd like us to begin to give God praise tonight. Let's give him praise tonight. Let's give him praise tonight. Appreciate him for the mighty, mighty things he's done. For those of us who are watching at home, it is time to partake of the broken body. I'd like you to take your bread, your biscuit, whatever emblem you have tonight. I'd like you to take a piece of it and prayerfully take it as we, as we wait upon the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead tonight. In the same manner, after supper, he took the cup that represents the blood of Jesus. And he said, this is a symbol of the new covenant in my body. He said, drink it every time and remember me. Tonight, as a partake of the blood of Jesus, we bring to remembrance that powerful exercise on the cross. And we enforce the victory over the enemy. We enforce the victory that Jesus died to purchase for us. We we'll receive it to our lives. We we'll receive it to every realm of our being. We enforce victory over every works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, drink the cup that is the blood of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like us to just bow our head in prayers and appreciate the Lord for his goodness. I appreciate the Lord for the gift of Jesus Christ. I appreciate the Lord for the ultimate sacrifice on Calvary. I appreciate the Lord for the fulfillment of every promise he's made to us. Lord God of heaven, we have come to your table tonight to partake of the communion. We ask that victory be ours in every realm of life in the name of Jesus. We receive healing to our physical body. We receive healing in our emotions. We receive healing in every realm of our lives in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Please tune in again Sunday 9 a.m. for celebration service. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for connecting to Midweek Service. We trust you have been blessed. 